hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so on my previous video i made mention that my name was announced on the speakers at the airport in abuja yeah so this is the story of what happened what actually happened what went down and how i was feeling at the moment okay so stay tuned keep watching like this video subscribe share tell your friends to tell your friends to tell your friends about me and let's keep watching <laughs> okay story time <clears throat> um where do i start from okay let me just start from somewhere what happened was that as i was packing i got a hair clipper so i bought that and coming to europe i you know cutting of hair is expensive and you know all of that stuff anyways long story short i had a clipper um inside my bag now i got checked in <laughs> everything was fine i was playing because i was actually four hours early to the time of my travel so i was playing i was happy i was just wasting time because I was just there doing nothing then when i climbed upstairs i wanted to just of course just go and um go to my um station boarding station is that what they call it the place where you get to um check your what's it called your ticket and your boarding pass rather and head right to where the plane is yeah that place where they check your passports they check your um ids and all of that stuff not immigration after immigration so i got there and guys the distance from that place to where i was coming from oh my god it was long and you guys remember <laughs> i had a very heavy carry carry on bag yes it was very heavy and i don't know why i even carried that i didn't want to pay any amount of money at the airport for um luggage so i decided to just have some of my carry along bag anyways long story short before i was checked in hmm, i heard my name on the speakers like nora evans blah 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 move to the i was like mm -mm, that's not me that cannot be me and my name was mentioned again it was like the third time i was like oh that is me i spoke to the leader that is me what's happening she said i have to go downstairs i should go back to where my ticket was issued that i have a problem i'm like what so i asked if i could just leave my bag there she was like no take your belongings with you and i was like how can how can i take these bags with me it was already a problem for me to carry those bags to that to that particular spot how am i supposed to carry the bag <laughs> Then I'll carry it back and carry it like back to um the ticket place again. So I was I was tired. I don't want to use the word frustrated, but I had to just go figure out what was happening. Thank God it was like I think about one hour ish, one hour fifteen minutes ish to the time of departure. So I quickly carried my bag, went downstairs, then I asked the guy who issued me my um boarding pass. I'm like um i heard my name on the speaker what is happening oh he was like oh something is wrong with blah, blah 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 i thought it was my ticket i thought i was given the wrong ticket so um i just was there waiting then i went to another spot where they issued tickets where they actually checked my my um my visa card my permit card so i went there and i asked and the guy was like oh so we've been looking for you i'm like what happened he said um i should wait then one of them was now calling someone else on the phone and i was just confused i was like what is happening what has happened have they seen my <laughs> my liquid <laughs> have they seen my palm oil is that is there a problem so i was really worried and so anyways uh, one of the guys came upstairs he met me he was like oh we have to go to the luggage um i can't i, I don't know what they call that please that is where all your luggage is, all your anything that you're checking in, that's where they take it to. It has to pass through this scanner before it's now going to the plane. That is where they do all of that stuff. 
so it was a journey going downstairs going to the down down parts of the airport i, I didn't know airport had that, that kind of a place so we got there then i saw my bag my Ghana Muscle bag at a corner like they removed it somewhere and i'm like that is my bag what happened and they were like um what do i have inside that bag okay before we got there the guy was like what do i have inside the bag i'm like mm, like what he was like do i have oil palm oil do i have anything uh, like contraband i'm like no the oil i have is hairspray i have like two of them so he was like okay fine do i have um <laughs> like a hair clipper i'm like oh yes i do have that so you're like oh my god and my bag has been vibrating for over three hours you guys remember it, i said it on my previous previous video that i arrived at the airport like four hours and i checked in very fast because there was no queue so for all that time all that period i was just in the airport playing passing time with my family my gun must go bag was actually vibrating so they carried the bag they took it to one particular room with one immigration officer or security officer i don't know what to call him so they carried me to that room then the guy was asking what's in my bag what's in my bag my bag has been vibrating blah 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 i'm like nothing it's just clipper if that's the clipper i don't know how the clipper got turned on because i actually turned it off i i i why would i leave it on in the first place so then they took me to that room then they cut my bag open you guys remember that i wrapped my bag so they cut it open then they asked me to bring out my things i started bringing them out then i saw the clip i was like oh my god and the clip was so hot so i was like oh so this was where the problem was i was so relieved that it was not my oil actually i was so relieved knowing that it was just the clipper because oh my god after passing that stress through all that stress do not still seize my oil you know so that was just it they found the clipper and before they found the clipper one of the security guys was asking me um he was just whispering into my ears i'm like um do i have a vibrator is he a vibrator i'm like why are you whispering if you want to talk to me talk to me directly why are you whispering into my ears so i told him that I do not have a vibrator it is a clipper and thankfully i brought it out it was hot so that was like an evidence that it was actually a clipper and it didn't have anything incriminating so thankfully they saw it the, the security man put it off used the cello tape to band it so it doesn't go back on then he wrapped it and put it back into my bag they asked him to pack my things back into my bag i did all of that and oh my god so i was supposed to pay another one five was it one five or one k to wrap so one of the guys used his own cello tip to help me wrap my bag again and of course you know these people you have to give them small thing and i already changed my 10k to euros no knowing that i actually had 2k naira in my bag i really i really was sad because it was when i got to finland that i noticed that i actually had 2k in my purse 2k naira so i actually just gave the guy the five euros because they were like ugh, on my throat on my neck and i just i needed to catch my flight i had a flight to catch and it was this time it was already like 30 minutes to the departure time so i was really freaked out i was tensed and i still had to go upstairs to get my bags and but i had to keep it somewhere because i could not carry it you needed to see the distance i couldn't carry it so i still had to go to that other part where i have to get checked in like where you go through the whole passport control stuff before you go into the plane so that was what happened thankfully the three security guys <laughs> three of them actually they, <laughs> they wanted to take my euros because when they saw the money then i was like ah, i should give him something i should give him something then i was like ah, ah. i'm like what do you should, should i like kill myself i don't have like i really do not have anyway i just gave the other one um the one that actually came upstairs that called me that took me downstairs so i just gave him the five euros i was sad because normally i suppose give these people just 500 naira that's what i'm supposed to give them or 1k max and they gave them the whole five euros that was that was sad anyways i came back upstairs grabbed my bags bags <laughs> there were three of them <laughs> i carried them i went through the immigration again the lady went like checked me in that that did my passport con control and stamping was like ah what are you doing here i'm like oh they made a mistake with my ticket so i went back so she's like oh okay so i just rushed and passed nothing nobody checked me i went and i saw a guy and i'm like please help me 
help me then they carry me going i don't know <laughs> so this guy helped me with one hand of my my other bag that was very heavy and we got to the um path where you have to um submit your passport they see your t sorry your ticket your boarding pass rather then for they let you go into the plane so thankfully it wasn't too bad thank you for listening to my boring story was it boring no it wasn't was it let me know in the comment section <laughs> anyway so that was my terrible scary and um annoying vibrating experience oh my god that's nice so that was what happened that was why they announced my name on the speakers and um thank you for watching to this point please do it to subscribe like share um save it if you're in, like busy you cannot watch it at the moment so you can watch it later um save it to your watch later on youtube yeah so thank you so much and i'll see you next time when i have the time to do all of this because Time is money. Bye-bye.